Evening. Today was a crucial deadline for Michael Astorga. His attorney and the state had to tell the Supreme Court why or why not the death penalty should still be on the table at his sentencing next month. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Diane Dean, new allegations tonight from Astorga's attorney that the state is unfairly and illegally singling out his client. Now the state Supreme Court will have to decide if it agrees. Michael Astorga has fought the death penalty for five years. Since being captured in Mexico after murdering Bernalillo County Deputy James McGrain during a traffic stop. In 2009, the state repealed the death penalty, but only for crimes committed after the repeal. Since then, Astorga's attorney, Gary Mitchell, has argued it should apply to Astorga too. He's taken his fight to the state Supreme Court. The only state to have repealed the death penalty, but still keep it in effect for those whose cases were pending at the time. In his argument to the Supreme Court, which was due today, Mitchell took his fight to a new level. He claims Astorga is being unfairly targeted. When the legislature did away with capital punishment, there were two men on death row and three more, including Astorga, who could possibly end up there. The repeal didn't affect the men who had already been sentenced, and Mitchell says the state made deals with the other two to avoid execution. Mitchell claims Astorga has been singled out by the state and even by powerful politicians who have called for his death. Here's what Governor Bill Richardson said just one day after the death penalty was repealed. I support the death penalty in the most heinous of cases. I think Astorga should go to the death penalty. Both sides are arguing a state statute that says if a penalty is reduced before a person is sentenced, then they should be sentenced under the new rules. The state's argument to the Supreme Court says this doesn't matter because the state made it clear when Astorga was arrested in 2006 that it would go for the death penalty. Therefore, death was already on the table when the legislature repealed capital punishment. Astorga is also fighting to be able to proclaim his innocence at the sentencing. The state says he's been convicted and his sentencing should only be about life or death. Diane? Okay, Alex, the state Supreme Court will hear from both sides on Thursday in Santa Fe and will be there.